Trafalgar Square, there's a statue of Lord Nelson, who won the Battle of Trafalgar. Now, his ship that he sailed on was built here in 1759. Okay. Should we, guys, are you ready? Yeah? Okay, excellent. Okay, we're going to make our way over to the ropery now. machinery there weren't even buildings when this building was built it was built in the late 1780s and they built the building a quarter of a mile long and the reason is this the board of admiralty that's the bosses of the navy said you needed a piece of rope that was long enough to anchor a ship in 40 fathoms of water now a fathom is a depth of six feet I don't do meters. Okay, we don't do meters here. It's only no, 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 no. <laughs> yeah. 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 Come on, hurry up. <laughs> It's a bit cooler in here. Okay, this is HMS Victory. And this was Admiral Lord Nelson's ship. 
and she takes 50 kilometres of rope to rig her out. These ropes here were made by men by hand right here. These ropes were salvaged, that means recovered, from a ship that sunk in 1758. In fact, the ship was a French ship we'd already captured called the Invincible. You may have heard of it. Invincible. It was French. Well, we captured it in a war, we rigged her out, but all of these ropes were made by men by hand. This is an anchor rope to put the anchors. This one is to pull up the sails, and it's a different type of... Okay, like that. So you're going to do it like this, Mike. Yeah, okay. Yeah? Alright. Don't move. <laughs> right, can you come this way? I don't care, come this way. <laughs> You're a big strong man. Over here. You're also going to turn a handle. You're going to pull it to that way. Okay? And then you're going to watch him and turn it the same speed. Now when they turn the handles, this is yarns. And they will be spun together to form strands. You ready, Mike? Yeah. Okay, pull that handle towards you go. But it is not the end, because to make a piece of rope, we have to do something else. It's called closing the rope. You put the three strands <coughs> onto one hook. Okay, so let's have a look. You'll do with the white t shirt. That's it, that's you. White, that's the colour you're wearing. There you go. Hold on to that, show them. Now, this is called a top. It has three grooves cut into the side, one for each one of these, okay? So, if I take it from you. Okay, just hold that there. Lovely, don't go away. In a moment, Mike, you remain turning in the same direction. Yeah. Okay, but you have to counter turn. So if you go over that side, so you can turn the other side. Okay, that way. Okay, so this now will be forced down here. So take that hand away. This one is flat underneath the end. That's it, end on. Okay, ready? Yeah. Turn your hand, let's go. Thank you. 
things that are sold, such as skipping ropes, dog slings, uh, fenders and door stops, bridge magnets. So when you go into our ropery shop, you can see all the things that we make and sell. We do netting for health and safety. We make climbing ropes for those that want to climb, or camping ropes for those that want to camp, or <coughs> any rope that anybody wants for anything. We sell it too. So we are a commercial business. We don't just make rope for the show, we make rope as a business and sell it. So thank you for oh. this belt. If you look at this little rope here, it's got some bells all going down. So where's the where's the going on? They pull the bells, pull the rope, the bells ring all the way down. So then they know that they're doing it to start stuff. Thank you. Bye. 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 Yeah.